Hello everyone, welcome back to another vintage hairstyling tutorial. This week's video I wanted to show you how I put in some of my favorite hair curlers and they are the rock and rollers. If you saw my other video where I talked about rock and rollers, that was the brush out and kind of a review on what I felt about them. So if you ended up picking up some rollers like these and you want to give them a try but you're not quite sure how to put them in, in this video I'll be showing you how I use them to curl my hair and also how I created this really cute and simple updo. To create this hairstyle, I used rock and rollers, setting lotion, a comb, bobby pins, hairspray, and a hairnet. For the hair preparation, I'm beginning on freshly washed and damp hair and brushing it through and creating a side part with my hairbrush. And of course, my favorite hairbrush for detangling is the Denman D3 7 Row Styling Brush. And to create my first hair section, I'm using the rat tail end of my Con Air Lift and Tease Comb. For our hair sections, you're going to want them to be about 2 inches wide. And these rows that are vertical are going to continue all the way around your head. I like to use my ear as a guide to create those first front sections. And to hold the hair in place, I'm using some duckbill clips. And you may want to try to keep your sections from getting too wide, otherwise there will be too much hair on your roller. Now you can grab your curlers, your setting lotion, and your comb. I've left that last section free, and we're going to start by creating your first hair section for your curler. You may want to remove some hair from the section if you think it's too much for your curler. If there's too much wet hair, your hair will never dry. To this section, I added some setting lotion and now I'm going to wind the hair around the center of the curler. Paying close attention to the ends, pushing them down with my finger and thumb, continuously wrapping new hair over the already curled hair. Once you get down to the base, you can now clip those plastic ends together. You can repeat that process all over again. The setting lotion that I'm using in this video, as always, is my Lotta Body Setting Lotion diluted in a spray bottle with water. And now that we have our completed row, we can move on to the next hair section. Something that will prevent your curls from being super frizzy or just kind of messy is making sure that the strand of hair that you're rolling is combed very smoothly. You want the hair to be flat like a ribbon as you are rolling it around the curler. If the hair is beginning to dry too much, it'll become harder to roll it around the curler. So don't be afraid to add a little bit of water or use a little bit more setting lotion to make sure that hair is damp. And to keep those ends inside the curl, I like to wrap around the curler and then add more hair as I go up over the hair that's already been curled, tucking in the ends and keeping them from popping out. Another trick you can use with these curlers is you can clip them to each other to reduce the amount of mobility of your rollers. Less movement on your hair in the night will reduce frizz and static. Of course, some frizz is absolutely normal and can be aided by using some pomade during your brush out. Now that we've completed this section, we can move on to the other side of the head. This hair set, I wasn't following any kind of particular setting pattern. I just created even rows and applied rollers 
stacked on top of each other all over the head, rolling under. Again, I love these rollers because they are the quickest that I have to put in my hair and they are the most comfortable for sleeping. If you do run out of these curlers, it is totally fine to supplement with your traditional pink sponge roller. And the final section here is the bang section, and I'm just using that rat tail comb to create a few more sections for the curlers. I like to over direct the curls in the bang section just to add a little bit more shape. And if you want to hold those bang sections in place even more, I suggest clipping them together with the nearby curlers. For that final small hair section, I am using another pink roller. And that is typically how I apply my rockin' rollers. Of course, there are many ways to set your hair with these curlers. This just happens to be my go-to for an easy, quick hair prep. Lastly, I do like to apply a hair net and a slumber net before I go to bed to keep everything in place and to make it the most comfortable while sleeping. I tie the slumber net in a double knot and tuck in those ends and let dry overnight. Since I had already shown you the brush out process in my last rock and roller video, I decided to show you a quick and easy vintage poodle hairstyle that you can wear. This is a great hairstyling option when you have curled your hair, but you don't necessarily have the time to go through a full brush out, or you don't feel like brushing out the curls on your first day of your wet set. To start off, I'm separating the bang section, twisting it up, and pinning it in place. Then you can take up the side section and tossle those curls behind the other curls, pinning in place with bobby pins. Repeat this step on the other side, smoothing up those side sections with your comb, but keeping all the curls intact. At this time, we're not going to really worry about the placement of the actual curls. We're just trying to begin the shape of the style and build the foundation. For the back, I'm just going to do the same thing, which is take all of the hair and add it to that top curled section. If you have a lot of heavy hair or thick hair, you may want to do this in multiple sections. I am using some duckbill clips to hold it in place temporarily while I smooth up the back and prepare it for the bobby pins. You're going to want the base of the hair to be as smooth as possible, so close any gaps you might have with your comb. And add a little bit of hairspray. Now I'm adding one of my hair nets to the curled area. This is going to keep all of those curls in place and keep them from falling. Once you have it in a position that you like, you can start to add your bobby pins.
Once you feel like the hairstyle is being supported, you can remove those duckbill clips, and I'm adding some hair combs in the back. But you could just use more bobby pins. I just think less is more is more comfortable. And to hide your hairnet, I like to use a wide-shaped U-pin, pulling the net down and pushing the pin into the curls. I hope you found this hair curling tutorial helpful and that you'll give this vintage updo a try soon.